in, day out. All the politicians pass here, day in, day out. They see this vehicle has been parked here for many, many months. As you can see, this vehicle, it flipped over. What is the work of the MTTU? The police and the MTTU, this is what they need to investigate and make sure they removed this vehicle at the scene. But it has been here for many months when it's broken. Look at this vehicle. It is driving with the tar, with the, with the, with the something tail on it. This is a very dangerous, but they drive it for many, many months. That is the many ways why this has been here for long. How many months? When I was how many months in here? Three days. For many, they say less than a month. But look at it. It has been here for a long time and no police officers do nothing to, I mean, at least to remove the vehicle over here. They say it has been here for three days. Okay, thank you very much. This is going to uh, Accra to Kumasi Road. This is a two lane, which is good. We have a two lane on this side, and there's a two lane on this side. Those coming from Accra who go straight, those coming from Kumasi, that is why you see there is no jam or a lot of accident on this area. So if all the streets from Accra to Kumasi will be future like this, I think it will save a lot of life, it will save a lot of traffic, it will save a lot of money, it will save a lot of injury and accidents on the Accra and Kumasi road. As you can see, two lanes coming here. You see two lanes going. Those are the people going to uh, Kumasi. These are the people coming from uh, Kumasi going to Accra, Accra going to Kumasi. So if the road, all the road should be like this, it should be it, it will save a lot of life, a lot of money too. Coming all the way from Nkoko, it is a two lane. So when you see a lot of accident doesn't up, happen in Nkoko anymore like before. Because when you get to Nkoko, you will see a double road coming from Kumasi two lane. Going to, uh, from Kumasi, from Accra going to uh, Kumasi is a two lane. From Kumasi to Accra is a two lane, which is a four. So there shouldn't be a lot of accident on Nkoko anymore. But when you get to the point, then the road will shift. As soon as the road shift, then now it becomes a single lane. When it is a single lane like that, and there is a what? Any upcoming vehicle with an accident, those people who are selling a patayua and all this stuff, and what and all this stuff could get into what? In accident. That is why you see a lot of accident to just hit them and kill people. So making the road a two lane should be our main priority at this time. As you can see, you see what is going on? This is one of the things that we are talking about. Because it's only one single lane. If it is a two, two lane, it will be easy and safer. And as you can see, people are buying and selling their goods, pictures, and selling their goods where they can make it safe. Because if you want to buy a stuff here, and then you have to stop on the shoulder, which you also take a lot of load, and then it can cause also accidents. Salam alaikum. Look at it, you can see this vehicle has been abandoned for so many months. It is the part of the job that the MTT they need to tow this vehicle. But this vehicle has been here for so many years. Look at it, it took up one lane. How many miles will this vehicle going to be seen? This can also cause an accident. Right. Look at it, how sharp curve it is. And this small taxi with the sugar cane has been parked here. 
working hard for years. For him to look, even come on, let me show them. Look at it now, he's coming on the way to fix it. But I hope this is an emergency, but at least they need to fix it up. This vehicle has been parked, locked down, has been parked for so many hours. Where there is a police station or police post, just two minutes away, there is a police post or police station, just two minutes away. One of the police officers came out to protect people driving. There is a police station right there. They should have had one police officer at least standing here by the vehicle to protect other pedestrians, to protect uh, the other incoming vehicles from Accra to Kumasi. Look at what he has here. This is a, a watch, a red, uh, what do you call it, reflective triangle for safety. It has been broken down. Look at how closer he put it. He should have at least get about three of them all the way 45 meters away from each other. And you can look at it is, Look at the white, margin white lane in the middle of the road. If it is a two lane coming in here from Accra to Kumasi. So anytime you are driving, when you see a white zone lane in the middle, where the, the lane join up together, that means you cannot overtake anyone. But when you see a breakdown lane white, that means you can overtake when it is safe. This is a two lane going from Accra to Kumasi and there is another two lane going from Kumasi to Accra. This is safe when it is two lane. It is safe from Nkoko to Kumasi or Nkoko to Accra. It is less accident. Why? Because the lane is two, two. Two lane, two lane which is four, which is good. And you should see the dodge. The, the white dot, that means, those white dot means you can overtake when it is safe. So I think this is very good for all the major roads in Ghana. Look at another death trap. The lane coming from Accra to Kumasi after Mpako. This people has blocked one lane. Coming up from Accra, the lane coming from Accra is going to get into the lane for people going to the hospital. So this is very, very bad. And you know what? There is no police present. They don't care about the life of the being people. The police, the MTTU, must act to stay right here to protect the pedestrians. Salam alaikum. You can see on that commercial road, this vehicle has been bent down. It is a watch. It is a tanker that has been cut fired. And it is bent down. It has been sitting here for so many months. Who is in charge to make sure the vehicle is out of the area? To make it away for people? Nobody either. They left it. Nobody cares. The police who pass this and that, they don't care what is going on. So this is one of the death trap too. Salam alaikum.